Hey guys, I'm uh, making this uh, uh, clip right now to show you guys how to get a dog to fetch if your dog will play tug. We just did a video for a, a dog that will not bring the ball back, but has a lot of drive to chase the ball. And uh, we had a follower ask, how can I get my dog to out when he brings the ball back? So um, we usually teach the out through tug if our dog has motivation to play tug. So her dog does have the motivation to play tug. So I'm making this video for you. I hope it you find this useful. Okay, I'm just gonna jump right in. So here we have Max. I'm going to, right now he's on his uh, place. I'm gonna yes him off and I'm gonna uh, display the toy. Yes! So now we're in the tug game, right? Okay, so when I want my dog to out, I have to kill the object. In other words, I've gotta make it dead. Out. I stop the movement. Nope. Yes! Now he'll get it. Now he'll chase it. That's how I teach the out. First, I'm going to show you that one more time. Basically, I just make the object immo immobile. Yes! Come to get it. I brace it on my knees. Out! See, I, I don't let it move. He outs. Then notice, as soon as I out him, I yes him back into play. Yesing him right away reinforces the out command. Here I go. Up. Yes. Now, to discourage possessiveness, I have to let him win sometimes. Come on, buddy. Bring it back, Max. Hey, bud. Come on, Maxie. Bring it back. Let's go, bud. Come on. Good job. So he brings it back because he wants to continue. Okay, so once I got my dog bringing it back, up. I can add things to it. Nice. When I want my dog to out, I have to kill the object. In other words, I've got to make it dead. Out. I stop the movement. Nope. Yes. Now he'll get it. Now he'll chase it. That's how I teach the out. I'm going to show you that one more time. Basically, I just make the object immo immobile. Yes. Come to get it. 